Hello, Hello to, to the, the people, people of Sci-Fi World. <laughs> well, oh my God. Yeah. yeah. This is a movie. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> we hope so. <laughs> Let me know who begins the, uh, this, this dream come true, I suppose. Who what? How begins this, be this dream how this, for you? How, how did it begin? Well, uh, we wanted to make a fi an independent feature. Yeah. We wanted to make uh, something that will both, uh, you know, like something that reminds of our of our uh, childhood uh, best uh, films that we saw, and uh, we started thinking what could be awesome, and we started thinking about Terminator 2 and about ET and about a lot of those films. Oh, little films, I think. Yeah, little films. Back to the future. Back small, to the future. Small yeah. yeah. Small things. And uh, eventually we thought about this idea of a guy who finds out he's a robot. And we just went on from there. Nine months uh, uh, till uh, production. Just yeah. writing the script and pr producing the uh, film with the uh, producer Amir Manol. And uh, then it suddenly happened. <laughs> and then suddenly, a few years later, it was ready. <laughs> yeah, a few, yes. <laughs> How many years? Four, uh, four I think. Four. Or three, four. four years of yeah. Life. Yeah. Being a movie this is, is what happens when you do an independent. Time. Yeah, but it was a lot of uh, financing, and, and you yeah. know, uh, there are a lot of. Uh, That's effect. the worst part, I think. It's, it's a lot of uh, effects in the movie, and since uh, our budget was it, was. it was good, but it was limited. Um, we had to. Uh, we, we had to. Uh, to use less people for all the effects, so it took longer because only the rendering, you know, of the effect took ages. Yeah. So, but it was it was worth it. I mean, it's it's a great movie. We're proud of it. So, of course. Why why the, uh, do you want to do this kind of movie? Because well, will be easy to do another thing. To the, first of all, it's pure escapism. You know, we're from Israel. It's a, a tough country. Yeah. We wanted to do something. Uh, uh, you know. Shone, uh, how do you uh, different. Di exactly, different. different? Different, exactly, uh, different. Something different, something fun, something uh, that like we could uh, have fun with. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is <laughs> the reason why we did that, and not some you know like drama about a yeah. soldier or whatever. So see, this is an interesting thing because uh, a few years ago we met uh, these guys from Ravis, mm -hmm. Ravis and the big ones. Yeah, of course, Kashalis and yeah, we know them. Good uh, friends. They yeah. are also a couple making his the, the first movie was at the first slasher horror movie mm -hmm. in Israel right. and yours became the first perhaps correct me if I'm wrong That's true. the first uh, sci-fi movie in Israel is yes. this true yes yes it, it is true um, it, it's a new wave of uh, Israeli cinema we're trying to do something that we uh, that we haven't done yet in Israel we we have a lot of dramas, we have a lot of comedies, but we don't have genre films. Now we have, like in the last couple yeah, of years. Yeah, I think, you know, we, we came out of uh, cinema school uh, together, Tal and me. And our whole generation, uh, our, uh, in, 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 in all of Israel, but in our school as well, they all, a lot of them went to genre films. Uh, it was almost a rebellion, oh. which is strange because it should be the other way around, right? I mean, the genre film should be what people are... You know, it's, it's, yeah, it's usually the opposite. Yeah, yeah. And then the art house movies should be the, 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 the hard things to make, the things that are like n not mainstream, the things that are... And in Israel, the other way around, because um, I think the way, the way Israel is, uh, is being presented to the outside world is easier to do. And don't forget the fact that once doing genre films was harder and more expensive. To you make know, the visual effects. To make the visual effects to, to make the movie. Which you now know. is much easier. And we also thought about how can we do visual effects uh, in a way that it will be less expensive. So we went for the 80s style, we went for the lasers, we went for the robotic parts. Yeah. yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, maybe it's uh, growing a fan base of genre movies on this web. Sorry. Well, yeah. Maybe it's a growing mm -hmm. a genre base, uh, a fan, fan base, base yeah. Yeah. in Israel. I mean, we are uh, <laughs> we are the generation that that grew up to 80s and 90s genre films, and the people who we make the movies for are people of our generation, and of course the generation afterwards, because you know it, it seems like the like from the, the the 80s that's when the genre 
uh, films Let's really go. took off. So our generation you know, grew up in those times. So our, our audience grew up with the creators, with us the creators. And therefore we have an audience for hmm. them. And both of you guys study in Israel or uh, uh, do you take lessons or your studies outside of the country? You know, we, we had some courses outside of the country, but we mainly studied in uh, Tel Aviv University. It's a great department for film and television. And it was I remember that, uh, I don't remember if it was Aaron. Kashalas was also uh, was an one of them was professor, no? Yes. Yeah, yeah, and Aaron. His, uh, and and another guy was his student. His student you know? yeah. So what is your beginning as a relationship? As a our, begin, our beginning as a relationship is actually from age 16. We're best friends since age 16. We made films at high school mm -hmm. and then we, yeah, we just moved continued on. to the we, university. We went to the army, you know. Did we did thing. genre films since we were 16. See? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. We did a horror yes. films when we, we were did 17. a horror, like yeah, like yeah. a twenty-minute horror film when we were uh, eighteen. Yeah. Or horror something. comedy. Yeah, yeah. We like comedies, but we like to mix it with other genres, like so horror, or like sci-fi kind of things. No. What? So Evil Dead. That yeah, of course. Kind of I have a, I have a picture with Bruce Campbell. I'm so happy. It's <laughs> like, yeah, that's all I wanted. It's curious because a few moments before with that guy's the. The, the guy with the red uh, t-shirt, yeah. he's from Argentina, yeah. he's making a documentary about horror fans around the world. Oh, yeah. cool. And it's uh, strange that we are talking about horror fans around the world <laughs> and you are from Tel Aviv. <laughs> and come on, guys, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> it's a coincidence. Well, you know, horror, you have horror fans all over the world. It's, it's so basic, it's a primal thing, you yeah, know, the whole loving to be scared, the whole I, I don't know, you know. I I, I was always more of a, I was always more basic. I was always more of a of a thriller horror fan. You know, less gore, more scare me, make me you know maybe sit on the edge of the, my seat. I just yeah. love to uh, scream and laugh at the same time, <laughs> <laughs> and to be amazed. Yes, yes, yes that's yes. that's like this is what you said, Evil Dead, right? Yeah. Before this is one of my favorite films exactly because of that because. Yeah. I'm just sitting there, like, amazed, uh, scared, laughing, you know, this is, uh, for me, this is the, the best. And of course the second one. Yeah, of course the, the second, second one. one. I'm course. talking about the second one, yeah. actually. There, there is actually, uh, the, the scene in our movie, when the guy finds out he's a robot, has two, um, uh, how do you say, gestures? Just, yes, yes, yes. To, 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 to two movies, which is Terminator 2 and Evil Dead. <laughs> two. two. <laughs> Lots two. of twos in there. Two. <laughs> the, the two and Terminator 2, they're both being uh, highly recognizable in that scene. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. It's, it's crazy, it's crazy. It's, it's curious because these kind of people uh, has a lot of influence uh, around the world. You can, you can talk with a fan in Canada or in Japan and we have the same feelings about it's these amazing. kind of things. It's, a, it's amazing because not happens with an, uh, the other kind of cinema. This is why we feel at home in this festival because it doesn't matter. Like I know that people that come to see the movies here, they have the same taste as ours. They have the same, yeah. you know, uh, artistic uh, whatever. I just know that like I can stop anybody here and just start a conversation. And it's going to be easy and fun. Yeah, it's more than that. It's the fact that people get what you do. I mean, <laughs> right. it's going to. Cons and, and telling himself, oh, so what's your movie about? Oh, it's about a guy who's really depressed, and then he finds out that his girlfriend is uh, that he uh, that he is a, a robot, and people go like, huh? We actually had that experience we, when we yeah. went to the screenwriters festival in London. So some people got it, like we said, oh, it's a guy, it's a movie about a guy who finds out he's a robot, and then uh, some people didn't get it, and they would be like, what? <laughs> What? Why? Why? <laughs> why? Yes. Wow. But this is why. Of course, why not? <laughs> yeah. Why, why? Yes. That's a good I think answer. it makes sense. <laughs> it makes complete sense. Maybe one day I'll find out I'm a robot. Who knows? We're I hope you do. We're all silent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this means that perhaps there is kind of secret fantasy about you guys wants to be a robot. <laughs> I think that the whole movie is about, you know, his girlfriend leaves him, he's too sensitive, you know, she, she's looking for a real man, for someone, you know, macho, and then he discovers that, you know, he's a robot, it's the most macho yeah, thing that you can I be. You can do anything. You can do, yes, you're <laughs> tough, you know. 
Okay, uh, do you know, guys, that there is a lot of projects who began, began in festivals, no? In um, CDS, if uh, we are making interviews with a lot of people, and almost every year, anyone told us, oh, how become this project? Ah, oh, it's what's here in CDS, in a conversation after a coffee, blah, blah, blah. blah. Can you tell us something yeah. about your new future, future film? We're, we're still on the script level, so we're still, uh, you know, I don't, we don't want to jinx it, you know, we, we, we wrote, we're still writing the script, we're almost done, and when we're finished, we're going to start, you know, this... So uh, it will be at least in, in the same genre, I mean... It is in the same it. genre, yeah. It's a, it, exactly, it's a comedy. Let's and start with a, the fact that it's a genre. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, and uh, because that's what we know and that's what we love. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to start doing anything about uh, uh, you know, the situation in Israel and... Uh, At and, least know, not in a direct way, you know. Yeah. Um, it, it, the budget it will be made for both of you. You will be... you want to keep working together? Sure, probably. The thing yeah. is because uh, at the moment they are Aaron and his partner and both of you. It's possible that with time when the uh, movie business in Israel grows and became more solid and strong, Perhaps in the near future we can see this kind of movies made uh, by a lot of local directors. Listen, we we have right now um, a movie, a zombie movie uh, that came out two years ago, which was relatively successful. Uh, and this director has now a new project, which is starting to get some press. Uh, also, horror in the kibbutz. It's a horror in the kibbutz. It's the, the director is called uh, Eitan Gaffney, mm -hmm. and he's a very good friend of ours. And uh, we have another good friend who made uh, Abu Lele, which is like a, oh, a, about yeah, about a monster that hunts a kid. It's like an E.T. in Jerusalem. It's yeah. beautiful. It's it's like it's funny. It's so it's, it's scary. It's beautiful. Definitely, there's a lot of. Uh, so there is uh, more. Uh, there is big, you are building, guys, the master of horror of Israel. Everything. We're, we're building the genre. The sci-fi, the, the sci horror, the, the fantasy. Horror, the fantasy, yeah. yeah every, everything. I, I have a, a curiosity about the movie. Making a movie about a man that discovered that he's a robot. Uh -huh. uh, what <laughs> was this, kind, this thing that you can put out of the screen because you, you think this is so much. <laughs> <laughs> we can put this on there. For example, if I am a robot, my girlfriend could be uh, worried about coming inside the house and find me fucking with the wash machine. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a problem. <laughs> yeah. I think that happened. Yeah. Probably in, which, in, in which some we, scene that we haven't seen. Yes. So the director. <laughs> uh, we, yeah, we, we, had, we have a sex scene in our movie. It was more explicit. Uh, yeah. Uh, and you, you put out. And we. we we Made kept it, a bit it gentle. gentle, a bit more okay. gentle than it was but in the beginning. Yeah, it was definitely a robo sex going on there. It was <laughs> yeah, really funny. Robo sex is always fun. <laughs> <laughs> Every sex I have is robo sex. <laughs> I didn't want to know that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Too much information. No? <laughs> the next. That's my second name. The, 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 the robo sex. The next one. <laughs> robo sex. Robo sex. <laughs> if if we move to porn, that will yeah, definitely that will, yeah. be that. <laughs> that would be the porn movie. Oh my God! I have a robo boner. That would be the porn <laughs> version of our movie. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, the my porn God. Parody. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Well, guys, thank you very much. It was very thank fun. You. Thank you. Good luck oh. with your movie. It was a great interview. Thank you. It was really great.